Their generosity has been revolutionary. They challenge us to do better. What they have done is just incredible. I really can't think of how we would exist now without them. They've not only transformed pancreatic cancer research at Dana-Farber, they've transformed pancreatic cancer research in the entire world. The Sydney Farber Medical Research Award is the highest award at Dana Farber. We're so excited to be giving it this year to the Hale family for all they've done. The relationship of the Hale family began 15 years ago when Bob Hale developed pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer, as you know, is almost always lethal, and very little was going on to try to figure out why and how. After Bob Hill unfortunately passed away from pancreatic cancer, the family really became a tremendous advocate for research into this disease. His family was very grateful for the care he received, but also anxious to see how they could support the research to improve our ability to think about pancreatic cancer and importantly treat patients. Over the last 10 or 15 years, the Hales have had an immeasurable effect. They've allowed us to hire new faculty, new researchers, bring new research to patients, run new clinical trials. It really has, it has changed everything. When I first met Don, it was right after he was diagnosed. I was told by Dr. Wolpen that I had 12 to 18 months to live. I told him about a research study we had just started. He was one of the first 10 patients who went on this study, and we actually found a genetic change that had been inherited, a mutation in one of the BRCA genes, which are known to be related to ovarian cancer and breast cancer. We suspected that a particular type of chemotherapy would work well for him. We started uh, treatment a couple of weeks later. His tumor responded exceptionally well to the point that it became actually hard to even see on the scans at all. And we then did surgery, and since that time, there's been no evidence of cancer. I was so fortunate to be able to come here and be treated here. Ultimately, that led to changes in national guidelines that came from this study at the Hale Center. I had 12 to 18 months. That was in 2015, and now here we are at 2023. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. In the last 10 to 15 years, some major advances have been made in understanding the genetics. We've now sequenced and analyzed thousands of genomes. We know just about every alteration that drives pancreatic cancer. And so that understanding has led to a new era in using that to help treat patients. We are at an influx. We've learned so much in the past few years. We've been at the forefront of new drugs that can directly target KRAS, the major oncogenic driver of pancreatic cancer. For years, people called this undruggable, and now we've been able to have small molecule drugs that actually target KRAS itself. The very first clinical trials are happening here at Dana-Farber. We've also been thinking about how we can use the immune system to come up with therapies that prevent those tumor cells from ever recurring. A major mission has also been finding pancreatic cancer earlier when it's curable. We've really been using a host of new approaches, including machine learning, artificial intelligence approaches. How do we improve upon the way they see pancreatic cancers? The gift that the Hale family has done for Dana-Farber is so meaningful. Philanthropy is what allows us to take risks, to follow the unconventional idea. It allows the researchers to think big, to attract the best people, retain the best people. When we get large donations, like the Hale family has done for us, it means that other people are inspired to do more. I cannot overemphasize how much the mission and the drive uh, of the Hales has really inspired us. One of the most remarkable contributions has been their unwavering commitment to challenging us. We meet with the Hale family to share our research updates, and it quickly became apparent that they are not impressed with our high-impact publications or our speaking invitations at fancy international destinations. They really want to know when is a drug going to be in CVS that will fight pancreatic cancer. 
And I think that clarity of focus has really humbled all of us. I would say that the Hale family is impatient for progress for pancreatic cancer, as we all should be. We need to do more. We need to be thinking about how to translate this to people. We need to be thinking about clinical trials. We also have shared in that impatience. It's this imperative that we are looking for something as hard as we can and as fast as we can every day needs to be focused on making a difference for patients. And that's powerful. We have over the past 10 years now, deliberately, step by step, built the best team for research and care in pancreatic cancer anywhere in the world. I can tell you that my entire lab of medical students, graduate students, postdoctoral fellows, medical fellows, not only are they part of Dana-Farber or Harvard Medical School, but they're part of the Hale Center. And that's just a tremendous badge of honor for them. I love this job. I cannot imagine anything more incredible to do with my life than to spend my whole day thinking about complex problems, reading literature, coming up with ideas, talking with other scientists, trying to invent something new, uh, is just the greatest gift I could ever imagine. <laughs> To Judy, to Karen, and to Rob, thank you so much. Thank you. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all your support, your impatience, and your partnership. We know that you're rooting for us, you're supporting us, and we couldn't be more grateful to be part of your team. Thank you so much for your support. I'm here today to tell you that I'm living proof due to your wonderful efforts, and I thank you so much. We absolutely will make good on the promise we made to Judy years ago, which is that things are gonna change for patients and they're gonna change soon. They already have and they absolutely will continue to.